Hey, it's the Bargain Bounty Hunter, and I have a package. I'm gonna open it up and check it out. Now, let's get into it. All right, so here we go. Now, I wanna preface this video by saying that uh, a couple months, uh, actually a year ago or so, I did a video by on a um, pop, uh, popcorn hot air popper by the company Dash. And that video did pretty well. I got a lot of views on it, a lot of comments and likes. And uh, I recently talked to Dash themselves and they uh, saw the video, they liked it, and they wanted to send me out something to open up and check out and do a review on. So this is what they sent me. I have absolutely no idea what is inside this box. Uh, the gentleman that I spoke with over there, he said, we're gonna surprise you. We're not gonna tell you what we're sending. Just open it up, check it out, tell us what you think. So here it is. I have absolutely no, it's, no idea what is inside this box and I'm really excited about it because I love my Dash Hot Air pop Corn Popper. I use it every single week. I should probably do an update on it because I get a lot of comments on it still. But just so you know, I use that thing every week and I've never had any issues with it. Uh, all I do is simply take care of it. I clean it out after I'm done using it and uh, it has lasted with no issues for over a year and I love it. So now let's open this thing up and see what this product is. I'm so excited. The moment of truth. Whoa, <laughs> a waffle maker. That is awesome and I was not expecting that. Now Dash does have a ton of products. So really I, I, was, I had no idea what to expect. But this is pretty cool. My son is gonna love this because he loves waffles. And I like waffles too. So let's get this thing opened up and checked out. So I don't even know the specifics. I don't know how much this product even costs. But I'll get to that later on in the video when I look it up. Here it is. The Dash Multi Mini Waffle Maker. Makes four waffles. And then it looks like it makes waffle sticks too, which is pretty cool. See anything here? No worries. Enjoy. Awesome, let's open this up. Now I don't have supplies to make waffles right now, but what I can do is I have to go to the store later, so what I'll do is I'll look at the instructions, see what I'm gonna need to make some waffles, and then I can make waffles later in this video. We got a little brochure here. Talks about warranty and leaving a comment. I love that. It's so satisfying when it all slides out in one piece. And I love their boxes. The artwork is fantastic. Look at the inside. Just fantastic. Great quality. We got a nice little packet here that gives us our instructions how to use it. Oh yes. And it gives us some lovely recipes that we can make. Now I'd love to make some of these recipes and in fact I when I got my popcorn popper from Dash it came with a similar booklet that had a bunch of different popcorn recipes and someone left the comment saying, hey, you should go through and make videos making the recipes from the brochure. And I thought that's a fantastic idea. And I put the brochure aside and I cannot find it for the life of me. I really wanted to do that. I wanted to use that idea and make videos making the different recipes and I cannot find the book. So I might have to reach out to my friends at Dash and see if I can get the, the book for the hot popcorn pop, the hot air popcorn popper. So I can do that and make those videos. Got some nice little pieces here, keeping it in place. Some plastic wrap. A regular cord that just plugs in. 
And there it is. So, you know, I used to keep a tape measure in here and it's not in here. So I don't know exactly how big these are, but I can tell you they're not. They're, 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 they're good size. They're not really that small. Makes four. And some waffle sticks. Let's see underneath. Underneath, we just have a little sticker with some more information there. So there is the Dash Multi Mini Waffle Maker. I'm going to, as I said, get some, some uh, ingredients for it, and I'm gonna make some waffles in a few seconds. Let's get to that. One week later. And through the magic of video, I'm back, and I have a griddle that is ready to cook on. So I uh, cleaned up my area, and while I was doing that, I plugged in the griddle. It probably took about five minutes for it to reach temperature, for it to switch over from red to green, but uh, that gave me the time to do a little more prep work, get some things ready, and here I'm going to now spray it with some Pam and make some waffles. So um, this is the way they want you to open it from the side here like this so that the steam doesn't rise up and burn you up. I got myself a spoon to hopefully be able to get a little bit more batter instead of this little thing that I use for mixing. But first I gotta remember to spray the surface. Again, I am not a professional. Now, I'm just gonna scoop a little bit into the spoon and fill these little mini waffles. I have no really, I'm not really sure how much to put in. I might be putting way too much in, but we'll learn together. This is the first time I use this, this machine. Now I've made waffles before. Um, my mom actually has a waffle maker, not a Dash brand, I forget the brand that she has. But it makes full size waffles. This is mini waffles. And I'm actually gonna put some in here to try out these little waffle sticks. Hopefully I didn't overfill. We'll find out. Let's close the lid. We'll have to see. Now, in the instructions, I looked and I could not find any place where it said how long to cook them for. So what it basically said was to, till it reaches your desired um, color, or golden brown, I guess, whatever the waffle color is. So I'm just gonna kind of monitor it and play it by ear. I'm guessing it's probably only gonna take five minutes, maybe less. But let's see, I'm gonna keep you with me. I may fast forward time a little bit, just so you don't have to stand there watching me watch this cook. But uh, yeah, I may have overfilled it because I have some coming out the sides. So my guess is I put too much in. How does it look on the other side? The other side doesn't look too bad, but on that side, there is definitely some, some waffle mix coming out the side. So I guess you live and you learn. You don't put as much as I put in. So it has actually gone back to being red on this side. So maybe, this may be when that thing switches back to green, it's gonna be at the right, right uh, amount of time. We'll have to wait and see. It looks like it's gonna be a huge waffle. <laughs> I think it all just overfilled its little holder 
and they've run into each other, but that's okay. I'm, make, I'm making one waffle for myself. As you can see, that one batch of batter has given me enough to fill all the spots in there, maybe a little too much, and I still have some extra. And as I was talking, it just switched over to green. So let's check it out. I'm going to try carefully not to steam myself. Oh, those are done. So this one and this one, Actually, the part that overflowed was I filled these, these these side pieces a little bit too much on this side here. But the ones in the, in the middle, they actually look perfectly fine. So I'm going to un... Actually, I'm not going to unplug it because I'm going to make more. So I'm going to... Oh, it just kind of pops right out. It lifts right out there with this little spatula I have. And there is your waffle. Scoop it out with this. This probably wasn't the right utensil. Oh no! At least it's not too hot. I was able to grab it. These pieces here. That is a lot of waffles. These are mini waffles, but they are not that many. There is plenty of food there. So let's try them out. I'm gonna unplug this just for now. Seeing that, I'm gonna try them. Now, that is a healthy, healthy helping of waffles. Made four mini waffles, two waffle sticks. This is not the presentation that was in in the, the, uh, in the recipe guide or cookbook, but that's because I'm making them and not someone who actually knows what they're doing. So in the, in the, in the recipe guide, in the, um, the cookbook, it said to put some berries on top. I didn't have any strawberries, but I had some blueberries. So let's sprinkle a few blueberries in there. And being that I live in New England, I had to get some real 100% maple syrup. You cannot not have maple syrup if you live in New England. So let's see here, I'm gonna put a little bit on here. Let's try them out. Get a blueberry in there. There you can see the inside is cooked perfectly. There's no uh, wet ingredients still in there. It is completely cooked and not overcooked. Fantastic. Great recipe. I would say it's not overly sweet. You pick up the sweetness from the maple syrup and the berries, but the dough itself is not super sweet, which is nice. Mm. Very good. Very, very good. That is the The recipe for the classic mini waffles in the pamphlet, the little cookbook recipe guide that the Dash multi mini waffle maker makes or gives very easy instructions and very tasty waffles. Next, I'm going to finish these off camera. Moments later. All right, so now. Then I've made waffles, 
and I've uh, gone over the instructions of the waffles and I've unboxed the multi mini waffle maker. I'm going to give you my review now. Um, I didn't go over cleaning. I was going to video cleaning, but um, it was, it's really easy. All you do is you take a wet um, soapy sponge or um, paper towel or towel, nothing with abrasives, abrasiveness, and you, so, you put you, you know you, you scrub it, get all the soap on there, and then you wet it, wipe, get all the soap off of it, and then you just sponge it off or towel it off, and then you dry it thoroughly, and it's clean. You want to do the same thing for the outside. You do not want to run it in the dishwasher; it's not dishwasher safe. You just want to use a, a sponge or a, a paper towel or a towel. Now my review on the multi mini waffle maker. It is $49.99 on Amazon and directly from Dash. Um, it, is a prime, it is a prime item, so you can get it shipped pretty quickly. And it is easy, very easy. Um, I, I was a little confused as to the lighting system and how it was gonna work, but basically if it's red, it's heating. If it's green, it's ready. So it, when you plug it in, it's gonna be red for about five minutes maybe, and then it's gonna switch over to green. You put your mix in. You close the lid, it's gonna go back to red again for a while, but when it turns green, you can open it up and it's ready to eat. Waffles, I felt they are mini waffles, but they do make good sized waffles. I didn't feel like they were that small. They're not you know, the size of a regular plate, but they're smaller. But four of them is, is filling. The sides for the donut, the waffle sticks, I, that's where I had some overfilling issues. These, when I filled the waffle cups here, no issues with overfilling. A couple of them I maybe even been able to fill just a little bit more. But these, wa these, the, these waffle sticks, it was hard to figure out the right amount. Um, the one on this side actually overfilled, flowed. Now that, that is probably just a, you know, you get the, the feel for it over time. But I'm not really a waffle stick guy, so I probably won't use the waffle stick part too much. But the waffle part, yes, I'll use those regularly. I think my son will like these waffles. Uh, so overall, it's a great product. Cleanup is easy. Um, making the waffles is easy. I know that there's waffle mixes that you can buy at the grocery store. And I imagine that if you make those and you put them, it would work just as, as fine as making the waffles from scratch like I did today. But that's up to you um, whether you prefer a boxed waffle mix or making them from scratch. I made them from scratch, but I'm sure the waffle, the boxed waffle mix will work just as good. Um, so yeah, overall, I think it's a good buy. $49.99, you can make four waffles at a time. That one batch that I made, made six waffles and two waffle sticks. So um, I made a good amount. It, would, it was enough to uh, feed me and then I gave some away. Good product, $49.99, Amazon product. You can get it directly on their Dash website. In my description of this video, I will have a link to the description to uh, where you can purchase this on Amazon and on their website. Uh, if you do buy through the Amazon one, I actually uh, will help me out, it helps me make these videos. So thanks for watching and enjoy your summer and I hope you get to make a lot of waffles and I'll talk to you next time.